uh, let's uh, get started with a, another um, Jamovi uh, run here. Um, uh, this is a familiar data set uh, for us. Uh, we've run this before uh, when we uh, were learning how to deal with uh, paired sample t-tests. And so this is kind of an ideal um, data set to play with uh, as far as uh, the um, repeated measures uh, analysis of variance goes. And one of the things that I really, really like about Jamovi is that it does have a repeated measures ANOVA feature um, as part of its base module, which uh, um, is not something that I have seen in SPSS. And this doesn't cost you a thing, which is even better. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and just keep it real simple, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, put my factors um, in here. So these are my repeated measures uh, cells. I'll go ahead and call factor one um, uh, grammar education or something like that. It doesn't really matter too much. <laughs> and as you not already see, this is um, populating with uh, your um, repeated measures factor um, and uh, your residual. So this is actually a pretty good thing already. So we're seeing that. We can see that the uh, F, if you were to uh, compare it to the um, t-test we ran will be, um, again, the square of uh, what we got for t. Uh, the p-value will be exactly identical. And again, the, really the big difference is just that we're now partitioning sums of squares into um, what can be explained by treatment and what uh, is essentially um, just noise, uh, for lack of a better way of putting it. You can see that once that's happened and degrees of freedom have been partitioned, um, you can see how the mean squares uh, are computed. And this F ratio is really the um, uh, factor one divided by the um, error term. Okay, so it's really just like any other F. It's just that in this case, the same participants are in treatment and control. You also have the option if you uh, wanted to, and we don't with this particular data set, but you could also add between subjects factors if you wanted to do a factorial design. Um, you can add covariates if you're trying to statistically control for a uh, um, nuisance variable. And uh, we'll go ahead and we'll go get our estimated marginal means. And give that a moment to uh, percolate here. And you can see how the means really don't differ that much. There's a lot more variation going on um, uh, with uh, the folks that, uh, you know, at post test. And I'm going to go ahead and order a marginal means table because I think that's a fairly useful thing. Okay, and you get here the means, you get the standard error terms, all that good stuff. So um, things that you mostly expect to see. Usually I prefer to see the standard deviation term, but it's actually not that hard to uh, compute a standard deviation from standard error. Um, that's a formula that we could do right on the back of a napkin if we wanted, um, and actually something that we should explore in further uh, sessions. All right, so that's essentially it for repeated measures uh, ANOVA. And so um, if you are curious to do more, play around with this and see what you can do with it, and um, I think you'll find that it is a, a very, very useful and helpful um, 
design to have available. Uh, again, we've talked about the uh, limits of uh, these designs in class, as well as the benefits. And so I won't repeat that here. All right, so at least you know how to do this. Don't forget, always save your um, work after you're done and remember to upload to the appropriate assignment. And uh, you will be done. And that will be repeated measures in OVA. All right, have a good day.